Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to show you approximately what your setting should be looking like on your needle valve when you bump the starter to show you how fast the needle rises on a fuel pressure gauge when set right. Notice it takes just a little bit of time for that needle to go all the way up to its full span. This will protect the uh, gauge from being beat to death by the water hammer. Okay, just for show's sake, I'll go out here and open up the needle valve just a bit more, show you the snap of the actual pressure. And mine's very down here, so I'll turn it about a quarter turn, which will actually be overkill. And now, you can see it bounces. That's too fast. That will cause the gears inside to beat to death and eventually eat the gauge. So you want to go ahead and come back out here. And like mine's buried down here, and it's going to be hard for me to show, but basically just want to go ahead and, there's closed. It's completely closed. And you can barely see my index finger. And that should barely crack open, like I say. So now when you come back and look at the fuel pressure gauge again, notice it didn't bounce. I got too far closed, it didn't even move. All right, readjustment time. Not even I'm perfect at these things, but it shows the learning curve. Want to seat it and just barely crack it open just a little bit so you get the fuel signal. There we go. And now you got that nice slow movement. You know, protect that gauge from getting all trashed and beat out from erratic pressures and the water hammer movements from the VP44. So that's how you protect your fuel pressure gauge.